Welcome to uh, Prayer and Coffee. Today has been designated as the National Day of Prayer for our nation. In 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Those who have formed the committee for the National Day of Prayer has chosen, uh, have chosen Habakkuk 2.14 as a theme for this year. And Habakkuk 2.14 reads, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. And so we add our voice to the voice of so many others praying for our nation in this critical time. We're facing so much division in our leadership, so much partisan divide, and we're dealing with this plague that has affected not only our nation, but the whole world. And so we do pray, Habakkuk 2.14, that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you forgive us as a nation for our many sins. We have ignored you, Lord. We have taken you out of the public square. We have ignored your word. We have not walked in your statutes as a nation. Lord, our politics are so divided. Your name has been profaned by many of our leaders. We pray right now, Lord God, for our leaders in Washington, for our leaders in every state. And we ask, Lord God, that there would be a national repentance for our sins against you. That you would look down on our nation that was founded on the precepts and principles of your word, looking to you as our creator. And we pray, God, that there would be a national repentance that would cover our nation, a national repentance that would flood our hearts as we look to you, our only hope, Lord. We pray, God, that you would heal the deep divide in our nation, the partisanship in our nation's leaders. Lord, that you would bring uh, a unity as only you can, a unity in the Lord God of heaven. Forgive us our sins, for they are many. We have shed innocent blood, and we ask forgiveness. And now, Lord, as we suffer through this plague as a nation together, this virus that has attacked not only our nation, but the world. We ask, God, that you would, in your mercy, in your mercy, God, we cry out to you that you would forgive us and heal us. Heal us of this sickness that has plagued our land. Heal us of the divisions in our land. Lord, let our eyes turn one more time to the Lord God of heaven, the only true and living God, to Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. We cry out to you one more time and join our voice to so many others and ask God, heal our land, heal America, and let America turn its heart to you one more time. Bring revival, bring healing. In Jesus' name, amen.